वेलकम टू शुद्ध लक्ष्मी वर्चुअल क्लासरूम टूडे वो गंड सी सिंपल इंटरेस्ट फर्स्ट वॉट इज इंटरेस्ट इंटरेस्ट इज अ फी दैट समन पेज इन ऑर्डर टू बोरो मनी लेट सी हाउ सोफिया हैड अ पिगी बैंक इन द पिगी बैंक शी हैड हंड्रेड डॉलर दैट शी अर्न फ्रॉम द लास्ट यू लेमनेट स्टैंड she thought when i keep my money in the piggy bank it is safe but at the same time it doesn't increase her mom gave a suggestion that she should deposit her money in the bank so sophia went to a bank and she deposited her dollar 100 the dollar 100 or the money that you're depositing is the principal so dollar 100 is the principal here the banker asked her how long she want to wanted to deposit her money sophia said one year after the end of the year the bank gave her One hundred and five dollars. The hundred dollars is the principal, or the amount she gave to the bank for deposit. And the five dollars is the interest. The principal plus the interest. is the total amount which is 105 dollars a bank will pay you interest if you put your money in deposit depositing your money in the bank allows them to lend money to other people so they pay you interest for that service so that's why sophia got a interest of dollar 5 principal is nothing but the amount of money that is being deposited or borrowed principal is denoted by the letter p interest rate is nothing but the percentage that is paid for every year the money is being deposited or borrowed interest rate is represented by the letter r interest is always calculated in percent for a duration of 1 year time or duration is nothing but the amount of time that you want to deposit or borrow the money If you are given weeks, months, or days, write a fraction to calculate interest in terms of years. So nine months is nine by twelve year because it's months here. So how many months are there in a year? Twelve. So we do nine by twelve. Now for eighty days. How many days are there in a year? Three sixty-five. So eighty by three sixty-five. So ten weeks. So how many weeks are there in a year? Fifty-two. So ten by fifty-two. Once you have determined the principal rate and time, you can use this simple interest formula, which is simple interest, which is denoted by the letter I, equal to principal. into interest rate into time period so this is basically i equal to p into r into t the total amount is represented by the letter a the total amount is equal to the principal plus the interest Let's see another problem for easy understanding. You deposit dollar seven hundred into a savings account that 
offers a 8% interest rate. How much interest will you have earned at the end of 3 years? So the principal is $700 and the interest rate is 8%. And remember, always change a percent to a decimal when calculating. To change a percent to a decimal, we do 8 divided by 100. Here is the suggested link for how to change a percent into a decimal. So, 8 by 100. 8 divided by 100 is 0 0.08. So, the interest rate is 0 0.08. And the time period or the duration is 3 years. So, the formula is I equal to P into R into T. So, here it's P is the principal which is 700 into the interest rate which is 0 0.08 and the duration which is 3 years. So, we have to multiply them together. So, when we multiply them together, we come to know that I is dollar one hundred and sixty eight. So after three years, you would earn an extra dollar one hundred and sixty eight. Thanks for watching.